If you eat more protein than your body can immediately use, your liver is going to convert some of that into glucose, which is the type of sugar that circulates through your bloodstream and registers on your continuous glucose monitor. That extra glucose can then cause a blood sugar spike, especially if you're eating a really high protein meal. Now, protein is essential for muscle maintenance, especially as we age, but the right amount does matter. For most people over 50, a good protein target is at least 30, but preferably closer to 40 or 50 grams per meal, and this is about five to six ounces of cooked meat. A helpful rule of thumb is to remember that cooked meat has about seven grams of protein per ounce. So if you're measuring out five ounces of cooked chicken, you would take five times seven, which is 35 grams of protein. And you might think, well, more protein is better, right? Well, not necessarily. If your body doesn't need that extra protein, it won't magically turn into more muscle. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But it actually gets converted into glucose and then stored in your muscle glycogen, your liver glycogen, or your body fat. So if you're consistently eating big portions of protein and wondering why you're seeing glucose spikes, this could be the reason. 